Alright, so this is part two of my iPad review. Uh, my last review, my part one, was just showing you the stuff, you know, things like that. Um, I was, uh, you know, trying to get as much information in as time as I could. So I was going fast, you know, getting every detail I could. Uh, so here I'm going to do the same thing. And in a later video, I'm going to do an overview of what I think of everything, you know, kind of like that type thing. Like, you know, the battery life, let me just point that out, is really amazingly awesome. It, 10 hours, I totally believe that. <coughs> Alright, so let's start with the left off at uh, Safari. So let's go back to Safari. My profile uh, over here. It takes you into this, like your top viewed, uh, all your video, all your sites that are up. It's kind of like your MacBook Pro uh, top sites um, outline. Um, so your new page, me.com, you know, you can have that. So click over here. As I said, it's amazingly fast. Uh, and then your history. All your history is on the side, so you don't have to go to a whole new thing. And then uh, another thing. No, it's right there. You click it again. It's up. Click over here. Clear history. Your history, all that from everywhere, you know, things like that. Uh, you can add bookmark, add to home screen, mail link to this page, you know, things like that. Your Google thing is up here. Um, this does not accept uh, Flash. So, you know, Hulu, stuff like that, you know, it doesn't accept Flash. So, that's basically all in Safari. Your mail. Uh, this is really widely documented. So, let's go into this screen first. So, this is like, you have your things right here. Um, uh, you have your things right here, like your inbox and stuff. And then you have your mail over here. You could uh, cl click over here, move it to uh, this message to a box, uh, one of your, uh, you know, one of your mailboxes, you know, you know, things like that. And then you could delete it. You could um, reply to it. You could forward it. And then you could also write a new message right from there. Uh, you can edit it, you know. Hit them. You can hit them. Uh, pops up. Same thing. Delete it. Move it. I'm gonna cancel. Go back. You have your inbox drafts. Th same thing like your iPhone. You have your accounts. Um, I have my Mobile Me account set up. Mobile Me is super easy. Um, I have my Yahoo account. So over here, and then. If you want to look at a single message, like that, all you do is flip it like that, and there you are. You're looking at the single message. You can move up and down with these things over here. Go to your mail inbox, and it's basically like the history thing in Safari. It just pops up. You don't have to go anywhere else. Like that, you can do all your same thing. Uh, you can move it. You could delete it. Oh, crap. And it doesn't give you a message like... Do you want to delete it? No, it does not give you a new message like that. But what you do to get it back is, well, I'm going to do it like that. You go to that, and then you go to your trash. Hit like that. Edit. Move it. Move it to my back to my inbox. And there it is, right back in your inbox. So like that, you can reply to it, same thing, delete it, as I said, um, and then you could create a new one right from there. So I'm going to go out of that. Then the next one, now I'll save that for last, that one's my favorite, um, is the iTunes. Let's go into that just real quick. I mean, it's basically iTunes. I'm just going to look at the, show you at the bottom. It says music, movies. TV shows, podcasts, audio, books, uh, iTunes, U, and downloads. So 
So App Store. I'm going to show you the App Store on this because it's really different than the one on my iPhone. So I'm going to go into Categories. Then I'm going to show this one. App Store. Categories. And see, the layout's already different. Already different. That one's in that. That one's like that. Um, so I'm going to click on Games. Games, loads, because I have like none. Um, and there, it's already different, because this one shows you, uh, lets you pick from what kind of games, uh, you know, or all games. This one doesn't. This one just has, you know, what's hot, uh, news and noteworthy, things like that in the spotlight. So I go to all games, and what I liked is that you could pick from top paid, top free, and release date. We have to do for that, but it's it's this is overall. You go to top paid apps and things like that. But that's overall. That's not uh you know in games and stuff. So you know you're featured, things like that, same thing. And then your thing, then your search bar is right up here. You hit search. And it gives your iPhone apps and iPad apps. You can download iPhone and iPad all onto this. Um, and app load, app downloading is amazingly one, two, three. All right, let's go into the settings. So Wi-Fi, choose your Wi-Fi, your notifications, brightness, your brightness, your wallpaper. You could change the brightness. You could change your wallpaper and stuff. Uh, it shows you all your photos. Or, or in the group at least, in events, groups, faces, things like that. Picture frame shows you how your picture frame will zoom in on faces, shuffle, things like that. Uh, general, you know, you have your basic. Uh, it also has your black on white, and I don't get that. Mail, iPod, Safari, video, store, the photos, you know, same thing. And then your apps. So then we're going to go into the iBooks. Comes up with this really nice book case shelf. And on the top, if you scroll down, you could see uh, the Apple logo right there. I don't see if, know if you could see that, but right there, it's the Apple logo. It's lo lo and it really looks like wood. You go to your store, flips over, New York Times, the ones that they like, top charts, purchases, and things like that. You could search ones, and here's the book. I got the complete works of William Shakespeare. Uh, it's really responsive. Look at that. And that's the one page, and here's like double. Here's like a book. And that's also really responsive too. See? It's like you're flipping over. Wait, wait, wait. Don't turn reading. There you go. And it, and it actually shows you where you are. So from right here, it'll be like that. Like that, you know, you could bookmark like that. So of, and it'll show you copy. You can dictionary. Um, you if you don't know the meaning of a word, dictionary it, bookmark it. And if you bookmark it, it kind of like looks like it highlights. See, looks like it highlights. So I'm gonna change it to pink, and it looks like it highlights. Change the brightness, change the font size, and you could search the book for anything. Um, put it back like that. And then we're going to go into your iPhotos. So you could, you know, peek inside of it. And I'm amazed with this. I love this. Like that. Oh, nope. Don't like it. Uh, peek inside of this. Oh, nope. Don't like it. And then you zoom out. Oh, like it. You see a photo. Uh, is that, nope, that's not the one. Go over here. Oh, yep, that's the one. There you go. Uh, you could put it in. You could do go from to slideshow from right there. No lag whatsoever. Like that. And then you could, from here, email the photo. Send it to MobileMe. Assign to contact. Use as wallpaper. And copy the photo. Check out part three. Bye.